I'm going to show you four different methods for making scrambled eggs. The good old Kiwi, g'day eggs. The elegant style French method of scrambled eggs. And what I call the Trump eggs. Well, rip, shit and bust. American style scrambled eggs. And then I'm going to show you my style and how to make a tomato no longer humble, but incredible. The first thing you need is great quality eggs free range organic and at the end of the video I'm going to show you fancy pants scrambled eggs and also how to turn the humble tomato into something spectacular with an extra 5% magic. Let's do the kiwi eggs. I think like a little chopped parsley or whatever fresh herb you can get your hands on to go in at the last minute and a little chopped over the top and a little sprinkled over the top. So crack it on a flat surface. Now make sure there's no egg shell in there. Two eggs per person is a good number. Now, let's give it a whisk. And I'm using a fork and I'm going like that, around in circles, quick beat up. There you go. No salt needed, and if you're thinking about putting milk or cream in, don't, don't, it'll make your eggs tough. If we do it properly, we'll have creamy eggs. Don't worry, don't panic. Straight into a pot, cold. There it goes, in the pot like that. Now we'll put it on a medium heat, low to medium in fact, because we want to cook eggs slowly. I've got a wooden spoon, you could use a spatula. And I'm just going to let it start cooking and I'm just moving it around the pan like this. Because I want even cooking, otherwise I'll have curd or the egg cook on the bottom of the pot. This is kiwi style. Just leave it. Go away, ring somebody for a minute, make it quick. Now at this stage there's no salt in there, there's no pepper. I've got butter sitting here ready to go. That's what's going to make it creamy. Get it cooking, and now I'll stop stirring. I'll get my butter ready. I'm gonna put about a tablespoon and a half, plenty of butter. It's soft, and that's gonna melt in there and make it rich. But I don't put it in too early. And if we have a peek here, we can see it's starting to form curds on the bottom. Just giving it a stir. We want creamy eggs. And it started to cook. Now I'm going to start putting the butter in because I want the butter to emulsify in there. And it's about two tablespoons, if that, maybe one and a half, but it's lots of flavour going in. And eggs cook quite quickly and at a low temperature. So that's why we don't want the heat too high when we're cooking. You can see that butter melting in there? Scraping it on through there, give it a good stir. We want them to be creamy and we want them to be easy to make, Kiwi style. We're going to put some salt and pepper in at the end, but we're going to take them off the heat before we think they're cooked. And if we think it's cooking too much, we'll just take it off the heat. Take it right off the heat because the bottom of this pan is where the heat is right now. So it's still cooking. Back on the heat. I'm going to chop some parsley to put on this one. You could use some chives, marjoram, whatever you like, but we're keeping this quite simple. I love just curly leaf parsley in there. And look how creamy they look. The key is to get them off the heat before we think they're done because they'll keep cooking once it comes off the heat. And we're very close here. And that butter is melted in. You can see now, I'll take it right off the heat, season. Now, don't use iodized salt, use your favorite salt. I'm using Murray River, but use whatever you like. Turn that heat off, stir it around there. Touch of pepper, just a touch. And a little bit of parsley in there. And stir it around, and you can see they're still creamy. The curds are formed looking good. Let's plate it up. I've got some sourdough 
and I do not need any butter on it because there's butter in the scrambled eggs. Look how creamy and delicious they look. The curds have formed there, we've got lumps of curds, it's creamy, the parsley's gone through there. Let's have a taste. Mm. No cream, no milk, no water. All that will do is make them tough. These taste sensational. I haven't put iodized salt in, so I've got lovely seasoning in there, but not that horrible iodized flavor. All right, let's do the elegant French style. For the French style, I'm cooking them in a bain-marie. This time, I'm going to whisk them up really well using a whisk instead of a fork for the French style scrambled eggs. Give them a good whisk. I've got some water over here, about two or three centimetres in the bottom of a pot, and I'm going to let that come up to a gentle rolling boil, and I'm going to slowly, slowly cook these guys, but I'm going to whisk all the time. So this time, you can't go away and check Facebook and tell me what you want in the next video. You can't even subscribe to my channel while you're watching because you've got to keep whisking it whilst it's slowly cooking. And I'm going to put some creme fresh at the last minute in this, really to ensure it's elegant and creamy. No milk or cream, just creme fraiche because it's thick and it's going to richen it up. But don't forget the butter. The butter is going in and it's going to melt whilst we cook the onions. Emulsify in there. So this time we're not looking for curds of egg. We're looking for this elegant, creamy style scrambled eggs. Mixing it up here. But eventually, in about a total of about six minutes it will take, and we'll have these delicious, creamy, French-style scrambled eggs. You can see that the butter's just about all melted in there. Not quite, but it's not far away. It's bubbling away there. I can hear steam on the bottom of that bowl. You can use a glass bowl. I've got a stainless steel bowl here. And I've got some chives out of the garden that I'm going to chop up and I'm going to put those in at the last minute. Not too early, otherwise the flavour goes through with the scrambled eggs. I want them to be little bites of chives in there at the end. Now you can see it's really starting to cook there. It happens quite quickly, so I'm going to turn that heat down a little bit on that water. So it's just ticking over. And I've got the creme fraiche, and the reason I haven't put it in is because when I put the creme fraiche in, it will stop the cooking because the creme fraiche is cold and it will heat up in there, but it will stop the eggs cooking. So I'll show you when to put that in. This style is super easy if you've got a lot of people coming for breakfast. We've been going about three minutes. I love this French style of doing scrambled eggs if I've got a lot of people coming for breakfast because it's really easy to do over a double boiler like this. Slowly starting to cook here. There we are, starting to thicken up there. A few little curds, but the curds are tiny and it's just going to be a real technique of getting it off. See how it's really starting to cook. Lift it off the heat now. And let's keep mixing it, just rather than leaving it in there. And it's as creamy as all get out. Look at it. One creamy, creamy, creamy. And just, it's going to need a fraction more. Well, probably not even another 30 seconds. So depending on how many eggs you're doing and how hard the water is boiling, you're looking at anywhere from four to six minutes to have it all done. They are creamy. Let's get the creme fraiche in, which will stop the cooking as I mix that in and become really creamy. See how it's just made them creamy? Some chopped chives in there. A little touch of pepper. 
little touch of Murray River salt. Mix that up and I can add a little taste just to check the seasoning. Mm. Oh, so creamy. And if you're one of these people that normally puts milk or cream into your scrambled eggs, I promise you, you're going to just love, love, love having the cream fresh in there. Just oozes over the plate. Happy days. This is probably my favorite because it is just so creamy. The burst of chive in there, but look at it, it's just cre silky, creamy, cooked. And the creme fraiche in there adds another dimension, not like adding cream or milk. It doesn't make the eggs tough, it just makes it creamy and delicious. There you go, elegant French. Let's check out my Trump eggs. For the Trump eggs, I'm going to do it in a pan. Don't even need a non-stick pan. It's a bit naughty calling them Trump eggs, but I figure we're not going to forget Trump in a while, but American style eggs, I'm whisking them up in a bowl. They're going to go into a cold pan. Check it out, not using a non-stick pan. There we go, and it goes. I'm going to season them with salt now. The butter is going to go in now. And now I will turn the heat on. And again, you don't want a super hot pan to cook these in. It's reasonably slowly catch the monkey. And I'm going to have a spatula this time. And we're just waiting for it to start to cook on the bottom. Look, I'm holding the spatula of my fingers down here so I get really good control. And it's just going to be a case of doing that and that. but you wait until the curd starts forming on the bottom of the pan. And this way we'll get it layered and we'll have this shiny and still creamy egg and that butter will melt in there. Can you see? And the raw egg comes in and covers where you pull it away. Definitely a faster way of cooking the eggs. You can see the butter's starting to melt there. Just want to get lots of layers in the eggs. I'm using an induction cooktop, so it's pretty quick. So we've got much bigger pieces of cooked curd, but still going to be creamy in between the layers. Now, that's enough. It's ready. Boiled. With eggs, you've got to really get them off before you think they're really sort of cooked. And you get them out of the pan and onto your toast. There we go. See, creamy layers. And just an aerial for the White House sticking in there. Because we can. Touch of cracked pepper on top. Look at that, creamy and absolutely delicious. Layered American style eggs. Dino style eggs, really. Look at that, creamy, delicious, layered curds. Mm. Now I'll show you my fancy pants eggs and how to make tomatoes rockstar. If you'd stayed the night and I was out to impress you for breakfast and bed, not that I haven't already impressed you, this is what I'd cook you and deliver it to you in bed. 
get some tomatoes, but the first thing I would do is drizzle an oven tray with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and lay some really good quality bacon in there. And I get half a tomato per person. And then I would chop up some herbs. Now I've got some chives, so I'll chop some of those up. Those, they're gonna go into the scrambled eggs. And then I get some marjoram or whatever, maybe some thyme, whatever I've got in the garden. And a little bit of parsley. And I'll chop it up. And I've even got a parsley, a chive flour there, which I'm gonna use. Oh, smell those herbs already. You'll be lying on bed going, hurry up, serve me breakfast. Chop them up really fine. You can do this the night before, be organized, so you can spend longer in bed in the morning. There we go. Now, a little sprinkling on top, because we don't just want a boring old tomato, it's what most restaurants do, right? Plenty of herbs on there, some extra virgin olive oil, and don't be shy, a drizzle of caramelized balsamic on top, a sprinkling of smoked paprika, because it'll be that little, what is that on there? Now crunch some Murray River salt on the top into the oven at 190 degrees C. And let the tomato really cook down, the bacon cooked. Now we've got some herbs left over. And there, and I've got my chai flour. We'll come over here. I've got my eggs ready. I've got some creme fraiche, that's gonna be the key. Now this is my version of doing it, but we are not gonna do it in a double boiler like we do the French eggs, but I'm gonna whisk these up really well, because I don't want you to see bits of cooked egg white in there. That's why I'm mixing it up. I really believe it makes a difference by really mixing it up well. There we go, into a cold pan cold pot even, I'll call it. Some butter goes in. Now I'm all ready, I'll wait until the tomatoes are just about cooked. Got four eggs in there, I've whisked them up with the fork, I've put some butter in there, and now I'm just gonna keep whisking it with a, well not whisking it, stirring it with a wooden spoon. And I don't have the heat too high, I've got it low to medium. And I'm just gonna keep stirring. So I'm kind of getting a cross between Kiwi style and the elegant French style, but I'm hoping mine is gonna be even more elegant and creamy. The key here is to keep mixing with a wooden spoon and get to all the base of the pot. So cover the whole area so the egg doesn't get a chance to sit on the bottom and form big curds. I want to mix it quite quickly and not go away and leave it. Look how good those look. And I can just take the pot off the heat every now and again, but see, starting to cook there and the key will be to take it off before I think they're done. Take them off early. You can always put them back on the heat and I'm still mixing, starting to cook there, but I don't have any big pieces of curd. I'm gonna have this creamy, creamy, creamy scrambled egg. So we're not far away here. I've got the salt ready, which is gonna go in now because it's starting to cook, just a little bit of salt in there. You can see it's starting to cook there, so take it off the heat, lift it off, because there's still residual heat in the bottom of that pot that's cooking back on the heat. A little grind of black pepper in there, just a touch. Lift it up again off the heat. It's going to start cooking pretty quickly now. 
as the eggs heat up remember eggs heat at a low temperature and if you think you're going to make something creamy by putting milk or water or cream in there think again it's all about the cooking technique that gets your eggs creamy see the curds are starting to form there that's what I want it's going to happen quite quickly now you can see it cooking right in front of us keep it stirring there Keep it stirring. There we go. There we go, it's coming up. Wow, it happens so fast, doesn't it? Pull it off the heat, off the heat. Probably won't even put it back on the heat now. There we go, see it's creamy. Looks delicious. Get in some creme fraiche. There we go. A few herbs, chives, a little bit of the parsley and margarine, just a little bit. Mix it up in the Creme fraiche will stop the cooking process and you can see it going in there to make it lovely and creamy. Let's get it on here. Here we go. Look at that. Oh yes. Oh, those tomatoes sitting on top there. Take one of my rashes of bacon. Put that there like that. And then I've got this chive flour. I could sprinkle some more chives, but the flavor of chive flowers on top just something quite delicious i'm going to go and deliver it wish me luck team hopefully i can go gliding after this if i score a few brownie points don't forget to like and subscribe